well let us see what is the activity state management right let me give you a quick demo what happens now here what I'm going to do is that let's have I'll keep this text view as it is text is hello world and let me assign some ID at plus ID txt view text view and one button wrap content wrap content and text would be what you can say okay and ID here at plus ID btn okay and here left off or say right off right light off, right off what text view something like this okay so wrap content and this now on the click of this button I'm going to call one method so you can give that thing over here also directly on click and you can say my click would be the method you need to pass that method name over here and that method should be available in this context right in this activity see how not this state management and here you, you are going to say my click public void my click and you can say view object view and view something like this so from here itself you can pass the method which method need to be called on the click of this button and that would be this method right this method will be getting called okay on the click of this button I am going to have find view by id r dot id dot text view then you can say text view and assign some current date dot set text right and new date over here dot to string something like this just assign to string new dates to string and here see what happens so here you would be getting one button and to that button you would be having one text on the click of that button we would be getting right on the click of that button we would be getting see on stop of earlier activity not this activity remember that see okay right so I got some data over here now for some use I'll go and I can type my email right I can type my email and if suddenly my phone configuration would be getting changed right and if I open that my earlier activity I should see this date in my activity right see what happens hello world means I am losing the data I am losing the state of the activity so state is nothing but what value of its views whatever views are there that state should be retained that state should be retained in all the cases see once again I do this thing I'll go to the back right I'll open another activity then again same some configuration changed right some configuration changed then this activity lifecycle I'll close it I'll close this I'll close this and again I'll open this I'm losing the state I'm losing over here the state now how to maintain the state what exactly happening okay so let me write some utility method or like earlier void empty here you can say string message right and create the new toast with the message something like this and here I'm going to call empty and on create and I'll override one more method on destroy and here you can say empty on destroy right I'll override one method on destroy let me run once again now you'll come to know exactly what is the problem on create has been called I set some data right I go back to some another activity then again I change the configuration and open the activity 
you will see on destroy is getting called and on create is getting called means activity is getting killed forcefully activity is getting killed forcefully and activity is getting recreated forcefully and that's why set content view is getting called again and your views would be set to the initial state and that's why you are losing the data now please tell me the method in which method should I write the code to save the state among the eight life cycle methods which method should I use on pause every time it is going to be called so every time you are saving the data unnecessarily see you don't know that method there is one no that is also going to be called once again right so there is one more method that you don't know that is nothing but the on saved instance state on saved instance state not this on saved instance state and this out object this out state so this method is not going to be called in the usual flow this method is going to be called right to save the state of the activity right so this is not a life cycle method right this is not a life cycle method do not write your life cycle level logic into this method this method is going to be called only when your activity is going to be killed because of some unusual way right because of some unusual way this method is going to be called right or in the normal flow before getting activity destroyed right this is going to be hold or this is going to getting called with the bundle now you can compare this bundle sorry you can compare this bundle and this bundle both are equal both are equal right so before getting killed this bundle should store some data right and that data need to be again some write some inner class for the good habit you can say my only and you can say string public or don't need to have public string dt data right so what you are going to do is that over here you are going to create my say my is equals to new my and my dot dt is equals to right get text dot get text dot to string so you have created the object right and this object need to be stored how you would be storing see out state dot put serializable right out state dot put serializable so if your object is the serializable it should implement the marker interface is nothing but the serializable right it need to be implement marker interface serializable so put serializable you can say my dt and here you are going to put you can say object of my over here so here you have inserted and here you will retrieve that object right as the saved instance state right here as a saved instance before killing your activity this method would be getting called before killing your activity this method would be getting called right and before killing you are saving this object to the bundle and that bundle you are getting over here so here you are going to check if bundle sorry if saved instance state is not equals to null if saved instance state is not equals to null right if saved instance state is not equals to null then what you are going to do is that then you are going to set or you are going to get that data first or object of my my is equals to saved instance state dot get serializable 
you can put the key that you have written over here my dt right this key you can put over here my dt right and cast it it is returning the serializable you need to cast it to my right then again get the text box this you can get the text box over here or sorry label text view and you can say set text and my dot dt something like this if it is null not null why I have checked this because at the first time obviously it is going to be null right let's run the code and see what happens you are not losing the state anymore right though you are recreating the activity say home what's happening on saved instance state has been called object of new my okay then text view dot get text dot to string okay some error is there might be null pointer exception let us see that what's that error is not serializable exception right IO exception writing the serializable object okay my it's in serializable implements serializable and you are saying put serializable which is nothing but the my out state dot put serializable my dt and serializable value my why it is saying it's not serializable okay and now what's the problem not serializable main activity 